I think there are several different uh, goals. So first of all, there are the scientific goals. So I think the goal, it's a program for young people, for young research and particular PhD students. And the goal was to just bring them together, to have time to do, do research together, to have collaboration time, to get to know new projects, to have contact with senior researchers, and to also just have a great time in some sense. So there is also probably some kind of I would say social goal, because if you just stay together the whole time and you get to know each other, you do social activities, you get friends, you make friends, and these friends also might be important later. If you just stay in academia, I mean, I still have friends from my first summer school, and I'm always happy to meet them at other conferences still. Then, but then also for postdocs who've been here for and who have been group leaders for projects, for them, it's also a chance to take responsibility for a whole for a group, which also might be important for them later on. Because the concerning topics, I think it had to be projects who are accessible without having been working in this area for, let's say, years. Um, it also should have been topics which are kind of interesting for a broad audience, but which are also give rise to other projects which, like, projects and topics which people work on right now. So it should not be something too old in a sense. And concerning participants, okay, there is for sure there is a, a qualification, the um, scientific qualification in some sense. However, it's hard to judge if we just have master students or on PhD students who just started because usually they don't have a paper yet. So one relies on their advisors to recommend them, for example. But they'll also I guess some kind of social aspect because people have to work together. Nobody, I mean, if someone comes who just wants to work alone, then maybe that's the wrong place. And in the same, in the same direction, somehow, we, uh, the organizers also tried to have some kind of gender balance and diversity, which was like, yeah, was, which was something which was considered through how the whole program, also for visitors, for speakers, for conferences and so on. Okay, so let me maybe start by describing a little bit what are these two branches. So there is the geometric combinatorics where polytopes play a central role. So somehow they appear every everywhere. And so there is a, a saying by uh, Brab who basically said, okay, polytopes want to be everywhere. And I guess in some sense that's true because they appear in a lot of areas, also optimization, algebra, statistics, theoretical physics, topology. So we see a lot of relations to other areas and polytopes give rise to a lot of combinatorics. So just if you look at the polytope and you start counting faces or the vertices, the edges and so on, then you get a sequence of numbers and you might ask a property of this number. You can also just take the faces of the polytope and you can just order them by containment. So you take the vertices and then you take the edges where you just take edges which contain specific vertices and so on. You can go on like this, so you get combinatorial objects from a polytope. So that's like one way. And you can also just take some kind of combinatorial object on the other way and construct a polytope from it. So there are a lot of constructions around which people have considered. So somehow combinatorial and geometry or combinatorial and polytopes, they go together. On the other hand, we have um, combinatorial geometries which was a suggested name um, by Rotar for matroids. And the one way to define matroids is through polytopes. So there is one definition of a matroid which just goes through a polytope and just say, okay, basically a matroid is a polytope with some specific properties. And again, these things give rise to combinatorics and they give rise to geometry. So in some sense, I don't think that one can separate polytopes and matroids anymore. So synergies just arise just naturally, and we already see them in the research right now. It's a quickly emerging field, which I would say is something good, because um, there are a lot of open problems, and even though a lot of problems get solved, whenever a problem gets solved, we get also new problems, and a new directions arise, so there's plenty of work to do. That's for sure very, very positive for the new generation. I think the challenge is, that it's not enough to be a specialist in just like one area. So it's not enough to just like know something about polytopes, you should also know a lot of about matrix, to so just like be able to combine these things. And that's a phenomenon I think we see in a lot of 
branches in mathematics, in particular also combinatorics. So just to give another example, there is a lot of work done in theoretical physics which relates to combinatorics. And again, polytopes arise. However, to, they have a lot of problems, and in order to like solve these problems, you know knowledge in different areas. And I think that's a challenge, that uh, the young generation really have to become broad and have broad knowledge. I don't think that there's something specific about combinatorics. It's just that these spaces, they are or actually these uh, centers, they are spaces for people to meet, for young people, but also senior people to meet, who have time to do research, not to have to teach, to focus on things, just to collaborate. So it's just, it, it's just great. And I think it's an opportunity in particular for the young people, in particular maybe for those who come from small universities, who just have maybe one or two colleagues, colleagues or one or two other PhD students they can speak to, to just like have a lot of people to speak to out of a sudden. And it's, um, yeah, it, it's, it's really, really great. And I really, really think we need these centers. Um, I also would like to congratulate the organizer, but also all the participants in this, uh, who were in this program for the huge success of this program, because I think they really achieved a lot. And I also think they had a great time. That's at least what I heard. And I think everybody can just be proud of themselves.